All right, we are recording. Uh, so this is going up on YouTube. It's not going to be a Twitch uh, stream. Uh, what you're about to watch is a cold and dark startup of the F-35 uh, Bravo variant. So we're going to be doing a short takeoff. Um, and depending on how we're doing, I might try a uh, vertical landing. See what happens. Uh, absolutely no promises. I will try to start this takeoff, do a lap around the area, and then land without crashing. It's extremely fun in craft to fly. Um, hopefully, you can hear my little bit of dialogue as we go through the process of this. Uh, I'll try and make it entertaining. Um, as you can see, we are inside the F-35, uh, completely cold and dark. We are parked. Um, no APU, nothing, no ground power, complete cold start. Uh, let's go. Uh, we're basically turning on all the powers, all the generators, um, putting the ignition to auto once I turn on fuel. I'm going to turn on fuel first. Then we'll go through and arm a few of the uh, export things. Startup now. Nope, I lied. Not enough yet. One more time. Oh, flashing green light means it's not done. There we go. F-35 Lightning 2. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's go. The way this uh, aircraft shows its information is so much different than every other aircraft in this game. Like, 
parking brake is off, and we're going to start applying power and complete a short takeoff. Going to slowly roll on the power. At a certain point, we're going to hit enough velocity to where we're just going to lift off, and then suddenly we're just going to lift away right here. Use the rudders, bring it around. Bring on power. Speed passing one zero zero. We're gonna continue this takeoff. Uh, gear up. Now we're passing one eight five. We're going to configure normal flight mode. Once we reach a speed of four hundred knots, we will begin to fly. Nice. We are airborne. We are away. We're about to make a left-hand turn and track south over the Cook Inlet. Speed 400. Bring her around. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. This thing is... It is so much more enjoyable running cold and dark to start. Um, we're going to keep our speed a little low because we're just going to land. Got a warning. Not sure what the warning is for. I don't see anything popping up. Probably because we are entering Ted Stevens International uh, controlled airspace. I would imagine. This thing is fast too. Like, super fast. I just passed. Go ahead. Let's see what's going on down here. We've got a rogue aircraft. Romeo Victor Foxtrot 143. Let's go and see what's going on. This guy's flying low. He's flying slow. He had a pretty. Uh, take off. Looks like a possibly a Cessna we're coming up on him. Definitely somebody playing around. Light air brakes. That could blow us. Oh, that's a. Uh, just glitched a little bit. Let's add some speed, some speed in. There's a stall warning. Alright, not full power. Put that in the burner. There he is, we're coming around. We're circling him. We'll line up on his tail. Let's continue a stall warning. One thing I accidentally do often is use the speed brakes or air brakes to use slow an aircraft and I forget to turn them off and then I struggle the rest of the flight to maintain speed. are engaged. He's flying kind of slow. I don't know if I can maintain flight with him. We'll try. See the water on this lake is uh, it's frozen. Go back and make your turns. I have eyes on 
Death Demons and J Bear. What we'll do is we're going to bring our round and we're going to go fly. Oh, we're going to land from west to east on J Bear. A little bit of cloud cover. One thing I did not do was uh, load a flight plan, so we're just kind of cruising. I'm just going to need to go to instruments for this cloud cover. Descending. I think that cloud started at about 65. Oh, yeah, we're in it. Hang up. I got visual land to the left. Another the area, we're coming in over the port. I think. Yep, there it is. Guys on runway. Now, what we will do. speed and we're going to do a short landing uh, I have not successfully been able to do a short landing in hover uh, but we'll try we will try gonna drop speed the great thing about these uh, piston aircraft is they're forgiving in that you can really get into a poor situation and throttle your way out of it. The line up for approach is a Captain Cook Hotel on the ominous skyline of Anchorage. Alright, so configuring. Gear is down. We need to hover. We are in hover mode. A bit of a transition. Yeah. We are off center. Might have gone into uh, hover mode a little early. By a little, I mean a lot. center line. Get a little bit of fuel. Oh yeah. I have the idea that this might be my new favorite aircraft to fly. We're a little bit closer to the ground. We can see the uh, buildings, shipping containers, texture of the ground, the roads, the trees. We are configured for a nice landing. We're bringing her in. Let's see how short we can do this. And I think what I might end up trying to do, trying to do is. Uh, some uh, carrier landings after this. All right. Speed is eight zero. Altitude is three five zero. Uh, vertical speed is about five hundred feet per minute. We're gonna drop flat by bringing our nose up a little bit. There's the Aero Club. Like I said, this is my first landing inside this mode, which I am learning a little bit. A little bit too much fuel. Vertical speed is very slow. There we go. Hey! 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 hey. Bring on the carrier operations, ladies and gentlemen.
We did it. That was awesome. Though I did see myself glitching, so I might have to do this again. I uh, hope you enjoyed. This was awesome. Have a great day.